Yo, as always, like, share, subscribe. Now let's just get into it. So we're going to continue this GOAT talk, this Jordan versus LeBron, and I'm going to get into a topic that just really kills me with LeBron fans, and that is excuses, excuses, excuses. A LeBron, a LeBron fan, that's his fiance, that's his wife, is the excuse. And we gonna, I'm going to get into it. Why? Why? One, they got so many excuses because they know LeBron's resume doesn't add up to Jordan's. It doesn't add up to Jordan's. So that's when you hear the one in nine talk. That's when you hear Jordan never did anything without Phil and Scotty. What? Phil was nothing before Jordan. Phil was nothing. Scotty was nothing before Jordan. But yet, when they came to the Bulls, Jordan was already averaging 37 and 35. So you can't say he didn't prove anything. You can't say that. Because he did. He, he's already killing people. So, that's just a simple, that's a simple one. But let's, let's, let's get into these ones. It's a team game. Okay, the NBA. There's a reason... LeBron, Steph, Giannis, uh, KD, all these superstars, there's a reason they get paid $100 million, $200 million. Because the NBA is a superstar league. More than any, any other sport that's except like golf and tennis and these, these solo sports. But team sports... Superstars make the team in the game. So you can have superstars are the ones that when you can't score, they're they're putting up points. When you, you can't score at the end, they're bringing it home. A superstar does that. And so you 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 look at you look at LeBron's resume, 2011. Yeah, I know LeBron fans. Y'all, y'all hate it. Oh, let's start from the beginning. What's that? 2007. The year he took Cleveland. The year he took Cleveland uh, there. Would y'all say a bunch of whoever's and whatever. He, he, he got them there. Went through Detroit. Then he got destroyed. Then you say, oh, his team was bad. Look up his numbers. His numbers were bad. So don't blame it on the team. You can't blame the team when you shot 38% for the, for the series. That ain't on the team. You're the superstar. You're the best player on the team. Show up and show out in, on the biggest stage. That, that's the thing. When you lose and win in the finals, guess what? Everybody's watching. Then you got 2011. That's the biggest. That's the biggest meltdown in finals history. And I don't want to hear anybody saying it's not. You can bring up you know, whoever you want to. LeBron was considered the best player in the world at that time. People want to say Kobe. No, LeBron was the best player. We all know this. And in this series, LeBron went from 27 in the playoffs to 17 in the finals. Every game they lost, none of those games were really blowouts. So if he just averages his normal average, 27, they win all of those games. They probably sweep the Mavs. So that, that, he'll never be able to get over that stain on his resume. So the excuse with that, Y'all might as well not even, y'all have to accept that L. That's, that's an L. Like, just accept it. So, let's see. We got 2011, 2012. Now, this is LeBron's prime. This is when LeBron said, okay, this is when he put on that Jordan hat. This is when he, this is when I said, okay, <laughs> this dude is balling. 20, 2012, 2013, that's when you got this. The put the push down against Golden State uh in the regular season, and that's when you got uh 
LeBron was just doing a bunch of cocky stuff. He jumped over a dude in the game in the regular season. He was he was for real then. Okay. Then we get to 2014 after after they after the after the Heat won against against the Spurs when the Spurs had him and Ray Allen hit the shot. We all know. The next year, the, the Heat get destroyed in the finals. I think the biggest margin of victories in any finals. You got to put on the cape. Put on the cape. Okay, what we got next? 2015. Okay, this 2015 series, LeBron could have won that series. Yeah, and then you're going to say, well, Kyrie, and that's my next excuse. That's my next excuse, LeBron fans. He he played against better competition, and Kyrie and Love got hurt. Kyrie and Love got hurt, but yet, this is what they miss. Then this is what they want to sweep under the rug. The Cavs were up 2-1 on Golden State. They were up 2-1. All you had to do was keep carrying them on your back and putting up. That's when LeBron shot. He shot like 32 times a game. So he shot a lot. I don't care if you shoot a lot. Just make sure you you, you efficient and you carry in the team. That's when the, in that series, uh, the Cavs changed the whole pace of the game. The Cavs... Uh, Started walking it up. LeBron would get the ball on rebounds and walk it up as slow as possible. That's how you. That's how you change the pace of the game. It's not a running game. Y'all. Y'all not gonna be able to run up and down the floor and get all those threes, which was beautiful game plan. But LeBron didn't finish it because most of those games were close. He was. They were up two one. They had the chance to go up three one in Cleveland. Came up small. Let them tie the series. Uh, the rest is history. Then you get the 2016 year. Okay, 2016, we all know what happened. Bron, Kyrie, boom, boom. Okay, 26-17. 2017, we got KD on the team now. Here, Then this is the competition thing. Nobody wants to hear your excuses about competition when y'all calling him the GOAT. How does that make sense? How are you the GOAT, but then you say, oh, he, had, he played against better competition. He's supposed to be the greatest of all time. How, how is his competition even a factor to him? Just like with Jordan. Okay, I'm going against... Uh, I'm going against uh, league MVP Charles Barkley. They've got home. Phoenix has home court advantage. Okay, I'm going to come out and average 41 and 8. I'm going to come out and average 41. So that's the, that's the big difference on that. If LeBron, you can't say... You can't say you the GOAT when we watching Durant bust you in the mouth and hit game-winning shots in your face. That's not an excuse. Better competition, yeah, better competition. He might just be better than you, Bron and Bron fans. He Durant might be better than you. Kawhi might be better than you. They might know how to control a game better than you. You can fill up the stat sheet. Guess what? The goal, the goal of any team, make the playoffs, make the second round, make the, the, the conference finals, make the finals, win the finals. The goal isn't to lose. If you lose in the finals, you're still a loser. Why do y'all think that's a victory somehow? You lost. You're a loser. It, it ain't hard to figure out. I'm trying to figure out when loser mentality became something to celebrate. When did we start When did we start celebrating losing? Did that come with the the they say the millennials and the trophies and all this? Everybody gets a trophy. 
You don't get celebrated for being a loser. Yeah, he played great and this and that. He lost. End of story. I don't care about the rest. I'm seeing close games and I'm seeing KD walk in the threes with you trying to block it. Guess what? You missed. Guess what? Swish. Game time. Holla at you. That's what we talking about. We didn't see Jordan. See, the problem is y'all LeBron fans want us to forget what we see. When we see Jordan, we think of all the great moments. We've seen him fail, but we never, this is where y'all miss it. We never saw him fail on the biggest stage. We've seen LeBron fail on the big stage too much. Too much. We didn't see Jordan do that. Jordan walked away. Jordan walked away after the first three-peat. Came back with 17 games left. Lost to the Magic. So the, the Bulls weren't champs at that time. Because they, they, they lost the year before when Scotty was uh, leading them. And uh, then after they lost to the Magic, they come right back, sweep the Magic, and go 72-10. and 10. Greatness. They, they ain't doing no 73-9 and nine Warriors and losing. And I don't want to hear, that was the greatest team ever. Guess what? If you didn't win the championship, you weren't the greatest team ever. Stop celebrating losing. You celebrating losing. That 73-9 that team was unbelievable. They were unbelievable when the playoffs started, though. They got down 3-1 to OKC. They came back, but who knows? Durant shot horrible. Durant was probably already thinking he's going to Golden State. I can't go to them and then beat him. Who knows what he had going on in his mind. Then you let LeBron and them, LeBron and Kyrie come back on y'all. Y'all not the that's not the greatest team ever. 72 and 10 Bulls is the greatest team ever. When you put it to you put in the work in the regular season and then you continue to do what you need to do to win the championship. You LeBron fans, and let me I almost forgot. That 2016 finals does not Add up to more than one ring. Guess what? You only get one, son. You get one ring for each finals. You ain't getting no, oh, this, that ring deserves two. That counts as two and three. Boy, you LeBron fans are so delusional. That, how, does, how does one championship count as two and three? Please explain it to me. I must have missed something in math class. Because it ain't adding up to me. That's one ring, big fella. You got three. You ain't got no four or five. It didn't add up to two and three. I don't know what y'all be thinking. It, it, that, ain't, that ain't the world we live in. You got one ring for that, buddy. That's it. So, as I just go through these years and stuff, it's, it's just too much for you to be considered the GOAT. We've seen you fail too much. We got a dude over here we didn't see fail. Once he started winning, failure wasn't even in the, in the, in the equation. So that, that's just it right there. Let's see what next excuse. Uh, Jordan had Phil and Scotty. Because let me get to the one and nine because y'all love to say the one and nine. So you can say Jordan was one and nine. How many, this is my thing. When did we start expecting dudes to win a championship in their in their first three years? Like, when did we start expecting that? When you have basically no help, like when did the first three years become become you're supposed to win a championship? I only know a couple guys that did that: Wade, uh, Bird, and and Magic. Those are the only dudes I really know that did that. What Tim Duncan? So it's it's like what are you talking about? That like that hardly ever happens. So why is it where y'all trying to act like it's a big deal that Jordan didn't beat Bird and Bird and those boys or the Bucks? Meanwhile, LeBron LeBron didn't even make the playoffs his first two years. So what are we even talking about? The the greatness of Jordan is just higher 
He's just got too many awards and accolades. So I'm going to get into this last point and then I'm going to get off of here. The, co the, the, the competition is better. You, the NBA right now, it's a different type of game. The NBA is a different type of game. It ain't the it ain't the '90s ball and all that. You don't have great big many great big men, many traditional big men. That's back to the basket. That's dudes sitting in the paint. You, right now, everybody's trying to shoot threes. It's a wide open lane to the to the to the bucket most of the time. That's why I knew a player like Zion was going to average 20, 20 to twenty five his first year. Because the game is so fast paced. If you're athletic and a freak of nature and you just constantly run the floor and you got somebody good enough to give it to you, you're going to average 20 something. Because you're going to get so many fast break points. You're going to get put back dunks. And then, so you average 20, 20 something when they don't even barely run the offense through you. So you got plenty of dudes out here that's scoring 30 and 28 and 27 because the game is just so much faster. You, you watch a game nowadays, rebound, push it, three, brick, long rebound, push it, three, brick, rebound, the other way, push it, brick. You might see some a team go back and forth bricking threes for, for five minutes straight, but nobody's got the, the, the sense to, to go to the rim or anything. The game is just different. The game is different. It's played so fast and wide open that you can easily average 28 and 30 and stuff. It's, it's an easier way. to. So a lot of these dudes' numbers are inflated in this era. So you can go back and forth with the era stuff. But it all comes down to you say he's the greatest. I don't care about his competition. I care about championships. That's the goal. Championships. That's the goal. Y'all seem to think he's got the stats. He's played 17 years. Been lucky enough to be injury free. LeBron's a freak of nature. I won't take that from him. But y'all sitting there acting like these longevity awards just really mean something. They don't mean that much. They really don't. We when we're talking about the GOAT, guess what? I'm, fi I'm finna rip your, your, your resume. I'm, it's, it's, uh, talking about the GOAT is like a job application. Go, let me, let me, okay, stats, you got those. Rings, uh-oh. Hmm. Looks like you just got three here. What, uh, what happened in all these finals? Hmm. Denied. You denied. You got stats, but you don't got the rings. That's where you 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 LeBron fans miss it. Jordan has stats and rings. Kareem has stats and rings. Now Magic, rings. He's got pretty good stats too. Stats and rings. Even Kobe, stats and rings. That three rings ain't gonna cut it, dawg. It just ain't. Now I ain't gonna say LeBron is isn't a all-time great player. I'm not gonna say he couldn't average 27 in Jordan's era. I'm not saying none of that. I'm just saying he ain't the GOAT. You need those, you need the stats with the rings. Dude going to need two more. And the way it's looking, he ain't going to get it. Not the way Giannis, not the way Giannis, the Warriors. Who knows? Giannis may be on the Warriors next year. The Warriors front office is going to have them ready to go and be right back where they were. Let's believe that. Tor uh, not Toronto, but uh, LA Clippers. You got Kawhi. You got, you got Kawhi. You got... Uh, Paul George, two of the top defenders in the league, and they can create their own shots. That's a problem, especially in the playoffs. But, like, we're we going to see. But that GOAT talk, you're going to need two more, and it just don't seem like you're going to get it. He got the stats.
I ain't going to take, take that away from him. LeBron is a beast and he has the stats. But you need the rings. You need stats and rings to, to, to truly to, to overtake Jordan. You need stats and rings. Even Kareem. Magic. You even gotta you even gotta put Kobe in there. But that's all I got for this one, y'all. LeBron fans and their excuses. If they always say ifs, if, if, if LeBron did this, if, if, if. They know if. It just is what it is. <laughs> so like, share, subscribe, y'all. I'm gonna keep coming with this this goat talk. <laughs>